Light is everywhere. A light can carry pictures and sound. We wouldn't have color without light. We need light to see. Light is everywhere. Light is everywhere. We never really think about it because when we can't get it from the sun, we can just flip a switch. But light is an important part of our daily life. There's even a part of science dedicated to light and what it can do. It's called optics and photonics. Optic means eye. The study of light is called optics. It's a part of physics. Physics tries to explain nature. Things like what makes a rainbow, why the sky is red at sunset, and the color of butterfly wings. And optics create solutions to everyday problems. Cell phones, digital cameras, solar technology, CDs, DVDs, astronomy, and GPS tracking. Optics and photonics make all these things happen. The study of light allows us to see further and closer in more colors and in greater detail. It's allowed us to harness light to help us save the planet, cure disease, talk to each other, and so much more. because we know that light follows some basic rules. Light can be bounced and bent. 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 To bounce light, you'll need two to three plastic mirrors, cardstock, scissors, a small object, tape, and a pencil. Next, you put it all together. First, you'll have to cut the mirrors so they are six by six inches. Now that you have your three mirrors, Take two of them and put them face together like this. Then tape the sides together so that you make a hinge. So put them at a 90 degree angle and you can slide your object in between the two mirrors. You should see four images including your object. Why do you think that happens? The two on the sides are created because the light from the penny bounces off one mirror and goes to your eyes. Every time the light bounces off a mirror, it creates an image. And then notice when you make the angle smaller, the more images you'll see. So it bounces more, creating more images. And then you can look into this mirror and cover your right eye. Notice that the image in this mirror has its left eye closed. Look closer at the picture. Which of Lizzie's eyes is closed? It's her left eye. This means that every time an image is reflected, it's reversed. And then you can slide one mirror under the other two to create a three-cornered mirror. When people from Earth shine a laser into the center of their three-sided mirror, it bounces right back to them and helps them measure how far away the moon is. When you don't have the mirror underneath, you can draw pictures. If you make a fraction of a circle, it's finished for you in the reflection. Light travels in a straight line through empty space, but when it bumps into an object, it changes direction. Just like bouncing a ball off of a wall, some shiny surfaces, like mirrors, send or reflect light back to you. When an object is between the two hinged mirrors, light from the object bounces back and forth between the mirrors before it reaches your eyes. An image is formed each time the light bounces off a mirror. 
As you make the angle between the mirrors smaller, the light reflects back and forth more times and you see more images. The number of images that you see in the mirrors depends on the angle that the mirrors form. Safety reflectors for cars and bicycles and remote controls bounce and bend light. Light is made up of many colors and that fact is used to help astronomers figure out what's in stars, the sun, and the atmospheres of planets. Optical engineers make things that use light to change the world. We can solve problems with light. We can make the world a better place. What amazing things could you do with light?